That's right. That's the question I'm going to raise right away. After Hemant Soren, will Arvind Kejriwal be the next to fall? Is the opposition playing victim card by claiming it's being targeted by the ED? Is the opposition getting any sympathy ahead of 2024? Should opposition leaders face the law? Are central agencies being misused to spread fear in the opposition ranks? Joining me now is Satendra Singh, former Deputy Director, Director of Enforcement. Salman Soz is Spokesperson Congress. Shehzad Punawala is National Spokesperson BJP. And Jasmine Shah is National Spokesperson AAP. I want to come to you, Jasmine Shah, first because I recall that when Arvind Kejriwal was in the opposition or was leading India against corruption, he would question every neta who was allegedly corrupt and say, why aren't you appearing before the CBI? Why are you escaping ED? Summons, sub neta chor hai. Today, the same Arvind Kejriwal is avoiding ED summons and saying the enforcement directorate is targeting him. Explain the difference. You know, it is very easy to play an earlier statement uh, when there was some semblance of justice in our investigative agencies, Rajdeep. Today, uh, and I point out ED especially, because if you look at the track record of ED, uh, in the last 9-10 years of Modi government, 95% of the cases that it has pursued uh, in terms of politicians has been only against the opposition parties, number one. Number two, whenever that opposition party leader joins BJP, and we have now umpteen examples, suddenly the cases go cold. You know, be it Chagan Bujbal, whose file suddenly goes missing when the bail hearing comes up in the Bombay High Court. ED says, you know, it's comical almost today that ED is saying that our file is gone, so give them bail. De you hear about Bhavna Gavli, four summons, five summons by ED. The moment she aligns with uh, BJP, they stop summoning her. They stop asking any questions. We have the case of Suvendu Adhikari, who is caught on camera accepting cash. What, what bigger hard proof can you have? ED doesn't even charge him, doesn't even call him. But on the other side, this fake liquor case, which has been going on for two years, Rajdeep, you know, not a single evidence so far, not a single rupee of recovery, not a single hard evidence. And only that they have today is uh, to say that nahi, Arvind Kejriwal is the main culprit. No, and so why know, not, why not go and accept the sum no, no, why not go and say all Arvind this? Kejriwal. No, no, why avoid the ED summons? What is the fear of the ED? Go before the ED and say exactly what you're saying on the show tonight. There is no, Rajdeep, there is no fear that we have of any agency because we are on the side of truth. But at the same time, ED is not above law. ED is not above constitution. Every citizen of India who has served a summons has the right to ask, why are you summoning me? In what capacity, on what matter are you summoning me? When the CBI summoned Mr. Arvind Kejriwal in August last year, Rajdeep, you are aware that he appeared before the law. He mm -hmm. appeared for nine hours of questioning. But when the Lok Sabha uh, elections are coming, and ED is, uh, you know, we have taken legal opinion. This is a blatantly illegal summons. And it's not that we have not replied to ED. Mm -hmm. We have given long responses to ED, making all our arguments and asking three, four questions uh, to the ED as to in what capacity you're asking uh, Arvind Kejriwal to appear. As, is he the, because of the chief minister of Delhi mm -hmm. or is he the convener of Aam Aadmi Party? Why yeah. is ED escaping from giving even a single answer? This shows that their entire intention is here not to question Arvind Kejriwal, but to call him and arrest him uh, by giving any frivolous excuse. And that is, the, uh, that is the bluff that we want to call out today. Right. Okay. You, you're claiming that it's an illegal summon in the first instance. Shehzad Punawala, you want to respond to what you're just hearing from the Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson. And, you know, one can give many cases where it seems almost as if the moment you switch sides, uh, the ED summons don't come to your doorstep. As long as you challenge the BJP, the ED will go after you. And files go missing. Okay. Files go missing. Le I let him you, respond. Rajdeep. I heard. Thank you, Rajdeep. Since the panel is also pitted two versus one on terms of political scale, so I hope you will not interrupt me. At least let me make my opening statement. Rajdeep, I want to agree with my friend Jasmine. Let's not go into old statements of Kejriwal, how he wanted Sonia Gandhi arrested. Let me give you an evidence of a statement made recently. Please listen. This is not a matter of This is not a matter of शराब की बात हो रही है शिक्षा पर छुपने का काम मत कीजिए। This is Supriya Shinde, 
from the Congress party. So I am only wondering if this was all vendetta and this has been done just a few months ago, then why is it that Congress, the ally of the Amadmi party, has come out and said that don't hide Mr. Kejriwal. This is not vendetta politics. This is actually your doing. Apart from that, only to refresh Jasmine's memory, I consider him a very erudite speaker. Just when the Chhattisgarh elections were on, and this is also then the India Today report, the Amadmi party officially held a press conference and said that the ED should arrest CM Bupesh Bhage. Here is the report. I would request you to Google it or ask a research team to send it to you. So if the ED is so bad, let's assume Rajdeep, then why were they asking for the ED to be unleashed on Mr. Bhupesh Bhagel just about two months ago? So it means that it means that Secondly, please tell me where is the case of ED or CBI or anything? Lalu is convicted four times. Mr. Pawn Moody from DMK has been convicted. Nobody else right now is convicted. Even when they say Chagan Bujbal, and I knew they would come to Chagan Bujbal only. Rajdeep, here is a report. Is there on India Today also? ACB in 2013 gave a report giving a clean shit to Chagan Bujbal. Who was the Chief Minister in 2013? Rajdeep, it was yours and my good friend Prithviraj Chavanji. So please, uh, Mr. Jasmine Shah should tell us that what was the clean shit given for. But let me no, give no, you another example uh, from Chagan India Bujbal Today about how he no, no, One minute, Mr. Punavana. I, I must please, stop you for Rajdeep, a moment because in just a minute, sir. Because on Chagan Bujbal, I know the case as, rather well. As expected. The fact is, is no, no, one facts. minute, sir. A few months ago, when... Uh, uh, Chagan Bujbal called expected. for a renewal of his passport. The ED had As earlier opposed you have it, but the moment he switched sides, they decided to not, not to oppose the matter. But go ahead now. Thank you, Rajdeep. Let me give you another example, and this is by a reporter, Vandana, who reports in Maharashtra and Mumbai particularly. Pratap Sarnayak, because you said that when people switch sides, we give them clean shit. Pratap Sarnayak was in the Uddhav Sena. EOW gave him a clean shit. When the government changed and Eknath Shindeji came to power and Devendra Fadnavis came to power, in December 2022, when the case came to the High Court, the ED stood up and said, nothing doing, no closure in Top's case. The case will continue. Let me give you a second example. Mukul Roy. Mukul Roy joined our party as BJP Vice President. Even then he was grilled. Today he's in TMC. Just now the TMC spokesperson was with you. Now give me just 20 seconds to make my opening initial remarks because I've only answered their questions. I am saying if the summons were illegal, why does Hemant Soren hide, Shah Jah attack them and Kejriwal go into this uh, chupa hua mode, they should go to courts and get it quashed. By the way, the Supreme Court has not given bail to Manish Sisodia for months now. Sanjay Singh is in jail. He went to high court alleging vendetta, not got relief. Vijay Nair, you wouldn't be knowing. Vijay Nair, one year he's in jail. And these are not just in ED cases, also in CBI cases. In ED case, 14 parties went to the Supreme Court, got no relief. And again, I come back to my main question, Rajdeep. JMM, three MPs were convicted much before Amit Shah Modi came to the scene. He, Lalu got convicted first time in 2013, much before for Modi and Amit Shah were on the scene. Today, please tell me, Rajdeep, ye convicted ke mein kya rai hai Jasmine Shah ki? What does he think about Pawn Moody? Baki sab chhod dijiye. Corrupt hai ki nahi hai? Itna bol do, Jasmine Shah. Okay, let, let Jasmine, before I come to Salman, uh, you know, respond, since the primary attack at the moment seems to be on Arvind Kejriwal and Aap, Jasmine Shah, you want to respond. You could go to court and quash the summons, say they are illegal. You could take your chances with the court and hope that the court rules in your favor. Why not do that instead of hitting the streets, instead of claiming vendetta? Rajdeep, first let me correct you. We did not hit the streets today because Mr. Kejriwal served a summons. And I think your viewers ought to know why was Arvind Kejriwal and why was Mr. Bhagwant Man on the streets today? They were on the streets because BJP hijacked the Chandigarh mayoral election. I you would imagine corrected. the largest party in the world would not bother about fixing an election at the ground level. They managed to uh, overwrite votes that were polled by Aam Army Party and uh, councillors from Congress. You would have never seen some scenes like this under CCTV camera for the first time in Indian history. BJP caught doing cheating and marking votes that belong to AAP and Congress as invalid. And that shows the respect that they have for democracy. If you're not going to respect the voting process, how can we trust you that you will uh, you will make sure that the investigative okay, agencies like ED and CBI not, are not doing your no, bidding? No, why not in trust fact, the it courts? Is the same? No, no, are, you, are we saying we have no faith left in the courts? I mean, you could no, openly say that. You could say that. Are you saying you have no faith Absolutely in the not. courts? No. You would very much like me to say that, but that is absolutely not the case. We have complete faith in the judicial system. 
बट द लीगल स्ट्रैटेजी इज समथिंग दैट वी विल डिटरमाइन फॉर आर सेल्स राजदीप के नॉट डिटरमाइन शहजाद के नॉट डिटरमाइन फॉर आर सेल्स एट द राइट टाइम इफ वी हैव टू गो टू द कोर्ट वी विल गो टू द कोर्ट एंड टिपिकली वेन यू गो टू द कोर्ट दे विल आस्क अच्छा यू यू हैव थ्री फोर क्वेश्चन इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉट कैपेसिटी आई विंग समट यू आस्क द ईडी तो हमने पहले वही किया हमने ईडी से पूछा यू टेल मी राजदीप दैट इफ अ सिटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर सच अ हाई कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोस्ट रिसीव अ सम आस्क टू और थ्री क्वेश्चन ऑफ द ईडी Why does the ED feel that it is beneath itself to respond to a sitting chief minister? It refuses to answer any of the questions. Perfectly legal, valid questions asked by Arvind Kejriwal in his capacity as a constitutional citizen you know, of the that, country, not as I, a chief I minister, not I as any separate ED, uh, favor. Let, let but me be fair. The ED, why, why, you know, the, the ED is not due, uh, 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 duty bound to respond in public to questions that perhaps are raised by a chief minister. Uh, they've also chosen not, not to, public, to respond not to public to the to the chief minister they will respond to the courts they should respond to the courts Five in my view we can deep. dispute that i will give you another 30 second shahzad keep to the clock 5 second yeah rajdeep the goal post of the question was that do you think lalu and ponmudi are convicted and corrupt very conveniently you have allowed him to change the goal post to something else about the chandigarh elections which is by the way sub judice so he should have faith in punjab and haryana i hope so i want you to reiterate the question Biswas, no, 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 one Dane, second chagan budhi uh, rajdeep do not allow rajdeep rajdeep this is not the way okay go rajdeep i am following he's, he's asking you a counter question he's asking you a counter rajdeep, question do you rajdeep, believe those who have switched rajdeep, over rajdeep, to the bjp your are fairness and your indulgence yeah go ahead Rajdeep go one ahead. second no you will not answer first Rajdeep it is my time let me speak mm -hmm. Rajdeep mm -hmm. i have asked i answered all the questions you raised to me including chagan bujbal to the best of my ability i asked one question lalu is convicted four times first time in 2013 what is the answer to that secondly as far as democracy under threat khairas arrest was called illegal by congress and said democracy under threat rashtrapati shasan should be applied in bengal adhir ranjan says it about mamta the congress says that mr pinarayi vijayan is a dictator and he is corrupt and his daughter is corrupt who do we believe about democracy being under threat if their democracy run threat in bengal and in punjab and in kerala why are they in alliance with them rajdeep i reiterate my question i hope you will ask him is lalu convicted corrupt i have the tweet of mr kejriwal 2013 lalu made crores of rupees in fodder scam how he has changed you know, this is salman shows salman shows and satyendra singh are listing he used to catch the finger of anna hazare you now he catches finger of lalu shehzad uh as salman shows i know you are getting impatient i'm going to come yeah. to you salman relax we've got a lot of time but i will jasmin shah in the interest of fairness ask you to respond directly to what was asked you by shahzad do you believe lalu prasad who has been convicted is corrupt or not rajdeep nobody is saying that each and every politician in the opposition ranks is squeaky clean nobody is corrupt and they should not be investigated the the issue that we have with the current bjp approach is that all the heads of the party are being made to be seeming you know you put uh, himan soren under bars you are going after didi you are going after kejriwal and mind you the investigation to abhi tak chal raha hai at the pre trial stage you want to put everybody in the jail for years they will be in the jail while the investigation is going on the trial is not even begin okay. and that is the problem and that shows the true intention you're, of bjp okay you are you are not directly asking my for question a moment that all the 20 One people line. that One no, no, line. no, no, Mr. Punawala, please wait now. One line, Rajdeep. No, one no, line. no, please wait. Okay, I'll wait, matter. Yeah, I'll wait. Please wait your turn I'll because wait, Salman. No, let, let Salman Soz respond. Salman Soz, you are listening. Sure. This is an AAP versus sure. BJP conflict because the fear sure. now is in AAP circles that Mr. Kejriwal could be next. How does the Congress see all of this? Because your ally in uh, in Jharkhand has just been arrested. The possibility is that another India Alliance uh, chief minister is under the. crosses of the law your dmk leadership is also now facing questions is there a sense of siege within the alliance and are you going to take this to the public do you believe the public will have any sympathy they are saying sab neta chor hai let whoever has to be arrested be arrested rajiv thank you for coming to me uh, after such a long time but uh, you know people this whole idea that sabneta chore i think i don't agree with this i think in all parties uh, there are many good people they do public service and uh, so i don't think it's fair to say that everybody is corrupt kind of, but some people are and you know uh, we will get to that but just on the specific issue of the siege 
of, uh, of the opposition, opposition leaders. You know, I come from Kashmir. Uh, the entire political leadership of Jammu and Kashmir was arrested, basically the house arrested by this government. So this government is capable of doing anything that they want. So I would not be shocked if tomorrow they arrest, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal. I would not be surprised if they go after other uh, uh, very, uh, you know, senior leaders. They've done this with him and Sarenji. I, uh, it's appalling. No, but I will you get any public this sympathy? Is, Mr. Sos, my question is, is, will you get any public will, sympathy will, by will, claiming will, you're will, not being targeted? I will, I will, I will, no, 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 let me, yes, I will get to that. Of course, I mean, by the way, we are, we have launched a public outreach program. Have we not? Okay, we are having a problem with your audio, sir. It's it's <laughs> not deliberately yeah, having a problem with your audio. We are going to try and fix that. Except for we are going to try and fix your audio in a moment and get back straight to you. But uh, uh, Satendra Singh, former deputy director, enforcement director, the general feeling is ED is working only in opposition ruled states or against opposition ruled uh, leaders. Wherever the government is in power, the ED doesn't operate. This is now a widespread perception. You cannot deny it, and there are enough. There's hard evidence to that effect. Radhib ji, ये जो प्रसंस्कृत बनाया जा रहा है, ये उन लोगों ने बनाया है जो जो लोग ईडी के स्कैनर में हैं, जिन्होंने कोई अपराध किया या किसी घोटाले में शामिल है या उनके खिलाफ जांच चल रही है। आप ये देखिए कि ये तो ये जो चल रहा है, मैं ये कह सकता हूँ कि सब ये कह रहे हैं कि मेरी कमी � एजेंसी जो भी काम कर रही है जो कानून ने उनको अधिकार दिए उसमें कर रही है यह आरोप लगाना कि सरकार के सारे पे हो रहा है सरासर गलत नहीं सर नहीं 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 सर 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 हार्ड एविडेंस यह है कि 2014 और 23 के बीच में 121 121 पॉलिटिशियंस केम अंडर ईडी स्कैनर 115 और 95 परसेंट ऑफ देम आर फ्रॉम द ऑपोजिशन आप मुझे uh, uh, BJP rule states mein kuch nahi ho raha. Moment I switch over in Maharashtra from the uh, to the BJP ranks, all the cases against me are closed. ED is being used as a pawn. Ye hard evidence hai. 121 politician mein se 115 kebal vipaksh ke hai. Kya sarkar ke koi politician uh, chori nahi kar rahe, money laundering nahi kar rahe. Sarkar ke paas itne paise hai, chunab ji uh, 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 ladne ke liye kahan se aaye paise? Radhib ji, mein politics ki baat nahi karunga kahan se paise aate hain chunav mein is pe bhi koi tippani nahi karunga lekin ye kehna ki sirf opposition ke log zyada hai theek hai to jinke khilaf muqadma hoga jinki jaanch hogi jinhon ko aparad mein lipt hai jaanch to unhi ki hogi ye kehna ki ab jaan bjp ki government hai wahan jaanch nahi ho rahi to ye koi mujhe logic nahi lagta dekhiye jab pehle bhi aap yaad kare जगन रेड्डी को जब गिरफ्तार किया गया था वो चुनाव प्रचार के अंदर थे आज ये कहा जा रहा है कि चुनाव प्रचार से रोकने के लिए किया गया पहले क्या जय जय ललिता आपके ओम प्रकाश चौटाला रेड अच्छा बीजेपी की जहां तक बात करें रेड्डी ब्रदर्स ऑफ बेलारी नहीं नहीं मैं 2000 सर 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 सतेंद्र सिंह जी मैं 2014 सर मैं पिछले 10 सालों की बात कर रहा हूं पिछले 10 सालों में 95 परसेंट पॉलिटिशियन जिन पर ईडी की कार्रवाई हुई है वो विपक्ष के हैं और आप मुझे कह रहे हैं कि इसमें कोई ईडी ईडी का गैर इस्तेमाल नहीं है आप मुझे कह रहे हैं जितने भी सरकारी व्यक्ति है वो दूध से धुले हुए हैं या वाकई आपको लगता है ये देखिए एक क्या कहा गया है हमारे यहां जो पकड़ा गया वो चोर है जो नहीं पकड़ा गया वे साहूकार है ये सबसे सिंपल बात है जो एक आम गांव का आदमी भी समझता है जो पकड़ा गया वो चोर यानी जो पकड़ा गया वो चोर और जो सरकार में है वो बच जाए नहीं देखिए अदालत में भी जब मुकदमा चलता है जो बरी हो जाता है वो चोर नहीं कहलाता वो बरी हो बाइज्जत बरी होता है और जिसको सजा होती वही अपराधी या कन्विक्ट कहलाता सर लेकिन पीएमएलए सर लेकिन प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट इतना अब सख्त हो गया है कि यू कैन नॉट इवन गेट बेल फॉर वन ईयर एटीन मंथ बहुत मुश्किल है तो एक तरह से शिकंजा कस गया है जी जी देखिए आप मधुकोड़ा से शुरू होइए मधुकोड़ा की बेल कि, कितने टाइम बाद हुई थी करीब ढाई साल बाद जगन रेड्डी कब बाहर आते हैं सत्रह या अठारह महीने में तो कोई ये नई बात नहीं है और जहां तक ये कि पीएमएल की प्रोविजन हार्स है तो इस देश की जो हाइएस्ट कोर्ट है उसने माना है कि ये ठीक है क्योंकि स्पेशल ट्रीटमेंट दिया जाता है ये 
देश को खोखला करने वाले अपराध है साधारण okay. अपराध नहीं है यू यू मेक अ गुड पॉइंट एंड देर फॉर जैसमिन शाह दैट लास्ट पॉइंट विच इज मेड एट द एंड ऑफ द डे इफ इफ द ईडी इज फाइंडिंग in many of these instances prima facie cases which the supreme court is not willing the supreme court of the country has not intervened i recall that the opposition parties went a, 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 a year ago and complained about the ed saying ed is engaging in selective persecution the supreme court said we are not going to entertain this come with specific cases then we will look at it you can't have a general fishing expedition and saying the ed is you know is prosecuting us illegally at the end of the day jasmine i ask you again do you your leadership have faith in the rule of law if otherwise be honest with us and say that you believe even the supreme court of this country is fixed why don't you say that rajdeep we do not believe that and that is the reason we do not say that we have full faith and if we did not have faith why would be fighting so many cases today take the instance that we went to the supreme court clearly calling out that this vote chor bjp under the cctv camera for the first time in indian history was caught manipulating votes not in some general election or some big election of a chief minister a mayoral election of a small city which is 10 by 10 square kilometers so if a bjp can fall down to this level that for a mayoral election in chandigarh they will sit they'll make their person manipulate votes think about what they are doing mm -hmm. and we have knocked the doors of the supreme court in so many cases in mcd they after uh, the entire country knows that mcd elections were won by aam aadmi party but they are not letting the main decision making body of uh, mcd uh, be formed the standing committee by rules we are going to we have gone to the uh, supreme court the judgment is reserved okay so but i have full faith yes the the process is the punishment here rajdeep you know and the process is such that for the two years when this gentleman is saying ki nahi finally jab aapko bai izzat bari kiya jayega sir bai izzat bari hone se pehle 3 saal aapko jail mein rakhenge to uska khamiyaza what what happens to the liberty what happens to the opposition satyendra ji opposition ko ek pmla case banao 3 saal tak jail mein dalo and you will see it as fine this is that we need to respond rajdeep no no one minute no no one minute shahzad you have to also be patient rajdeep let me come in no 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 one minute let let mr satyendra singh ji respond fair rajdeep it's blatant don't nothing व्यवस्था पे विश्वास नहीं है क्या सब लोगों की बेल तीन साल में होती है आप कह रहे हैं व्यवस्था पर विश्वास रखिए बट यू नो शहजाद शहजाद पुनावाला एक मिनट एक मिनट जी 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 अमेरिका अमेरिका में जो ट्रंप है राजदीप प्लीज लेट मी कम इन नाउ दिस इज एक्सट्रीमली फिनिश लेट हिम फिनिश हां बोलिए सत्यन हमें मेरी रिक्वेस्ट सबसे है या मेरा मानना यह है कि हमें अपनी देश की संस्थाओं पे विश्वास रखना चाहिए उनको बदनाम नहीं करना चाहिए अमेरिका के अंदर ट्रंप को बुलाया जाता है गिरफ्तार होते क्या वो पॉपुलरिटी लीडर नहीं है वो इस टाइम इलेक्शन प्रोसेस में है वहां इलेक्शन होने जा रहा है उन्होंने कहीं भीड़ इकट्ठी नहीं कहीं ये क्लेम नहीं किया कि सर नहीं, नहीं, सर, नहीं, सर लेकिन अमेरिका और इंडिया में ये फर्क है देन दी देर इज अर इज फेथ जस्ट मिनट शहजाद देर इज अ फेथ इन द इंस्टीट्यूशन इन इंडिया देर इज अ क्वेश्चन मार्क ओवर इंस्टीट्यूशन एट द मोमेंट शहजाद पुना वाला रिस्पॉन्ड टू दैट No, no. Hard numbers I've given you, Shahzad. Satyendra Ji no. had his own point on that. Hundred and twenty. No, no. One minute, Mr. Punawala. Hundred and twenty-one yes, politicians have been investigated by Rajdeep. the ED since 2014. Hundred and fifteen of them are from the opposition. And you are telling me the system is fair? Are you seriously telling yes. me that that 95 yes. percent yes. of the money launderers are in the opposition, Mr. Punawala? Now let him respond. Please go ahead, Mr. Punawala. You have asked me a 40-second question. Give me 40. I hope you will not interrupt me before 45 seconds. Can I get that assurance from you? Go ahead, you. Rajdeep. First of all, it is a it is a goalpost you are changing again. Many of these leaders are not under ED and PMLA cases. Mani Sisodia is also in jail and not been given bail on the CBI case. There is no PMLA in that. Point number one. Point number two. I am glad you asked Jasmine the question about Lalu being corrupt, and he answered it forthrightly. But Jasmine, you started off as zero tolerance for corruption. Then somebody who's convicted corrupt, how come you are sitting with them today? That is the question. Not just Lalu, Pawn Moody also. If this is your fight for the system, if this is your fight to make politics clean, how can you fight it and call us corrupt morally when you are standing with somebody who's convicted as corrupt? Thirdly, Rajdeep, I want to only ask Raj, uh, my friend Jasmine now that he said we are taking action against opposition leaders. Okay. 
प्लीज सी बंद कर दो एसीबी अगर तुमसे जांच नहीं होती तो जांच करानी है सोनिया गांधी को गिरफ्तार करो दो दिन उसका इंटेरोगेशन करो नाउ राजदीप प्लीज आस्क मिस्टर जैसमिन शाह दैट वाज अरविंद केजरीवाल लाइंग अबाउट सोनिया देन और हैज ही चेंज दिस स्टांस टुडे एंड बिकॉज सलमान इज बैक एंड आई थिंक ही शुड हैव टाइम टू स्पीक आई वॉन्ट टू गिव माई टाइम टू सलमान जस्ट विद वन क्वेश्चन दैट टू डेज अगो वेन खैरा मीन्स टू मंथ्स अगो वेन खैरा वॉज अरेस्टेड कांग्रेस सेट दैट दिस वॉज मिस यूज ऑफ एजेंसीज बाई आम आदमी पार्टी डज सलमान स्टैंड विद दैट इफ दे डू देन हाउ कम टूडे दे आर स्टैंडिंग विद आम आदमी पार्टी एंड मेकिंग दिस क्लेम एंड बाई दिद्धू आर सेट फोर्टी थाउजेंड करोड़ करप्शन हैज बिन डन बाई एंड माइनिंग डेली चीफ मिनिस्टर पुनावाला योर टाइम इज But I continue. You did not answer my question. Do you believe 121 politicians have been investigated What? by the ED since 2014? 95% with the opposition. Are you telling me seriously and the voters of this country that BJP politicians dood me dule hue hain? All the money launderers are in the opposition. Yes or no? Yes or no? Can? Ha. Let me answer. I will answer. 20 seconds. I'll take 20 seconds to answer. Rajdeep. Investigations into cases of corruption are not like 9 p.m. editorial lines that need monkey balancing. If somebody does corruption before 2014, who was being convicted? Lalu, who was being jailed? DMK leaders, who was being pursued by the agencies? SP and BSP, and today also same politicians. So because it is like editorial line of some 9 p.m. show that we should because we have uh, arrested uh, Sohiban Soren, we have to arrest some BJP leader. It doesn't work like that. Okay, Rajiv, that's a, proof, you know, that's an interesting response you give. Case karwai. Okay, Chidambaram ko khada karwai. Acha. Okay, Salman Soren, you want to respond that just because Hemant Soren is arrested, that doesn't mean a BJP leader has to be. There's no equivalence in in the ED's arrest. I'm throwing a number. Shahzad Punawala is is repudiating it. Well, uh, uh, Rajdeep, uh, uh, I'm sorry I got got, got cut off. But uh, uh, first of all, the BJP uh, led by Prime Minister Modi, I think they have no moral standing whatsoever. Shahzad keeps talking about the opposition. Do you stand for this? Do you uh, you call this person corrupt? Are you uh, are you? How can you stand with convicted people? The Prime Minister, when he was Chief Minister, was serving with a convicted person in his cabinet. maybe shahzad doesn't remember anymore because his uh, his memory has kind of evaded him since he joined the bjp so the uh, the the bjp's double standards we know about them that's politics but talking about uh, the enforcement directorate one uh, one data point that you should be sharing with your viewers is that we talk about this 95% of the people uh, who are uh, kind of uh, who the ed is targeting in among politicians are are uh, from the opposition mm -hmm. but the other thing uh, the people of the country should know is that uh, the, the conviction rate of the ed is about 0.42% mm -hmm. they they've taken 25 uh, cases to uh, uh, to trial 24 convictions have been uh, have been uh, achieved but that's just out of 5900 cases or so that's from the ed's data and what is happening during elections we all know what's happening during elections whether it was chatisgarh whether it was whether it was telangana rajasthan every time there's an election the ed starts uh, uh, going raid after raid after raid by the way of course we see that heaven sirenji has been you know he's been arrested i would not be surprised if uh, arvind kejriwal is arrested i would not be surprised if other chief ministers are are, are be uh, will be arrested because this government has a track record they put the entire leadership of jammu and kashmir behind you know uh, uh, you, behind you, you made that point or, uh, house arrested them you, so wait 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 now let me let me finish let me finish <coughs> uh, and i can give you the abcd like the other day i was on a tv show somebody started talking about the abcd of the congress you know the opposition uh, leaders and how they are uh, the, how the ed is uh, targeting them i can also do that I can uh, go, go with Ajit Pawar and B for B S Yadurappa and C for Chagan Bujbal and D for Digambar Kamath. I can I can I can have an A to Z of this. But let me share something else with you. What about these photos? This is the Prime Minister with his friend from Assam who had an ED case or has an ED case. Here, the Prime Minister is hugging another ED case. I won't name him. He is another Chief Minister. here the prime minister is bowing bowing down before an ed case here the prime minister is his hand on the shoulder of another ed case who is now allied to the bjp 
We don't need any lectures. The okay. people of the country can see. I, I, I the people of the end. country can see. I, I've heard. There is a, there, you see, there, this, is, the, this is the problem at the moment. The ED... Taxpayer funded, by the way, no, no, taxpayer no, no. funded, just let me finish. I've given you 10 seconds more. Institutions are being used to victimize the opposition. And let me say this on national television as a spokesperson of the Indian National Congress, that when this regime falls, and it will fall, all, all those who are right now subverting the constitution, be they politicians of the ruling party and their allies, or bureaucrats, anybody will be held accountable. Okay. I'm saying this. Okay, that, 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 you know, you're, you're saying they will be held accountable for the alleged misuse. They've said that the CBI was a caged parrot when you were in power. Each of you, in a way, stands questioned about whether you've ensured institutional integrity. We'll wait and see who the ED tackles next. Shahzad Punawala, I'm afraid we've run completely out of time. This has nothing to do with any bias against you. I want a nice smile from you as we end the show today. And uh, I appreciate that you've got India today in the background, wherever you're sitting. So thank you very much.